All right, we're going to dive into uh, to something that's a little bit more complex uh, today, but something that does bother me because I feel like it's going too far in the other direction uh, that ends up just sounding insane. Um, I, wa I want to preface this with, <laughs> like, this shouldn't need to be said, right? I feel like if you hang out on this channel or you hang out on Twitch, then you probably already know this. But I believe equal pay for equal work is is absolutely great and that should happen okay and, and if it's not happening in any instance anywhere in the world or in life then it should happen okay but but uh, you know, like just put putting that out there if anybody you know if anybody doesn't believe that i just happen to think that you're wrong right but we're talking about alicia lehman uh who is douglas louise's uh girlfriend she's also a professional footballer um she is uh, on Juventus, right? Her and Douglas Louise got transferred to Juventus at the same time. It was like a couple, like a couple's transfer. Uh, the world's first couple's transfer was what I saw it described as. Oh, which cool, you know, that's neat. Uh, but she came out and basically said recently, she was talking about equal pay. She said, I do the same job as, uh, I do the same job as Douglas, play for the same club, but I earn a hundred times less money. It's not fair. It's something that affects me because I'm a woman. Um, it's not because you're a woman, actually. Uh, I, I think that what we need th there needs to be a, a way to have this conversation without turning it into uh, something, in my opinion, illogical, right? Because there's a couple of parts to this. I'm gonna start with the fact that there are certain aspects of the women's game that have equal pay and should, honestly, should probably have more, right? And th that's, this whole thing first blew up when it came to the US women's national team. Okay, but th th this was fundamentally understood in most places. But if you live in the United States, you understand that the U.S. women's national team is the most watched national team in the U.S. It's better. The U.S. women's national team is better than the U.S. men's national team. But more importantly, when it comes to how much they are paid, more people watch them. More people watch the U.S. women's national team play. So when they were getting upset that they weren't getting paid as much as the men's team... That was an incredibly justified frustration because the men's team had less people watching them and was not winning as much, right? You can't do both of those things and, and still get paid more than the other people, right? And so the U.S. women's national team rightfully was very upset, sued U.S. soccer, and ended up getting that pay. They honestly should probably be paid more because more people, were wa like more people are watching them because that is where the money comes from in sports, Right. If nobody watched the NBA, LeBron James wouldn't be a billionaire. Right. Like you don't just instantly make a ton of money because you're very good at a sport. It's why people that play hurling in Ireland aren't as wealthy as people that play professional football. Right. Like even if you are the best hurler, nobody outside of Ireland gives a shit. Maybe they should because hurling is an awesome sport if you've never watched it. It is super fun, would recommend, I've been to one in person, uh, it was like Dublin against Kilkenny, I think, fabulous game. Really entertaining. Would have loved to have played it growing up. A little violent, but I mean, I'm American, that kind of, you know, fits right in with everything. But the reason that professional athletes make their money is because people pay to watch them, either in person or on television. And the honest truth, right, is that there are a lot more people that pay to watch Douglas Louise play than pay to watch Alicia Lehman play. Now, there is another side to this. I do not think that a hundred times more people pay to watch Douglas Louise play compared to Alicia Lehman, okay? So there is a pay gap here. Alicia Lehman should be making more money, right? And the system should be set up to directly reward athletes the correct percentage of the the number of people that happen to be watching them and i do think it is a serious issue in the women's side of the game that wages are depressed right and it, it, because the game and, let, and let's be completely honest here i know there's a lot of like turbo people on the internet that pretend that nobody pays attention to the women's game but those women's champions league matches that are packing 70,000 80,000 seat stadiums right? The women's leagues that are starting to draw bigger and bigger crowds, right? That The money needs to follow that because whether you want to acknowledge it or not, the women's game has grown a shitload over the last 10 to 15 years, right? It was already huge in the United States, at least when it came to the U.S. women's national team. 
But now you're seeing the club side of the game grow. Now you're seeing new nations like Spain taking up the mantle and having absolutely massive crowds for major women's matches, right? Like that is, that is a whole new era, a whole new generation. And I can guarantee you that wages have not kept up. And so there is a point in here from Alicia Lehman, but I think you lose that point. I think Alicia loses that point here if you try to instantly go for an equal wage with somebody that uh, just a lot, still at this point, a lot more people pay to watch, well, either in person or on TV, right? Because that is where this money is coming from. Money is not free, to borrow a phrase, right? You can't just be like, like it would be great if, if every you know, professional footballer was only compensated based off of their ability. But then again, we'd have to go to field hockey and compensate, you know, like the money in sports comes from the advertisers, the people which are trying to reach the people that are watching the sport, right? And in women's football, wages can't be equal because the money is not there. They should be a lot damn higher. And that's the argument that, you know, that should be made in this, in this particular situation. But like I was saying, if you, I think you actually end up kind of devaluing the argument if you say that the wages should be equal right now when you're not drawing equal crowds. So somebody in the comments kind of connected this. Douglas Louise makes 196000 a week. Alicia Lehman makes a little under get a 4000 a week uh, to play. Again, look, if you're making $4,000 a week, that's actually a very good living wage. But what you should be making is is the amount of money that, that, that is your share of how much people are paying uh, to watch you. Now, there was one more aspect to this where I, I do think that even if it doesn't make complete economic sense right now, I think that you should be paying a healthy living wage to women's footballers. Because if you're not doing that, it doesn't give you the opportunity to grow the game. I think that there is a lot more growth potential in women's football than there is in men's football. But the only reason you're going to be able to reach that growth potential is by creating a women's side to your club and funding a professional staff and team for that women's club. So even if the money is not there at the time, I think it makes good long-term financial sense for a club and it makes great long-term sense in terms of the development of women's sports to be able to fund a fully professional team with comfortable wages based off you know, using money that is earned by the men's side. I think that is providing, you know, the equality that everybody would seek and the opportunity for young women to play as well as young men to play at, you know, in professional football. It, it provides that avenue for growth. But what is not necessary to provide that avenue for growth is to pay the same wage because the money doesn't exist. I mean, I mean, like the money does not exist. If if the women's team at Juventus had to pay the same wage to the women's players that it was paying to the men's players, there wouldn't be a women's team, right? They're, they wouldn't be able to afford it, right? I mean, we're in an era of FFP and in the Italian leagues, let's be completely honest here, are not exactly rolling in the money, right? And maybe if you're sitting in the Premier League, they'd be able to at least take that amount of money, spend on the chin and survive. A, a club like Juventus having to match its men's wage bill with its women's team's wage bill, no chance. It wouldn't work. They'd go bankrupt. They'd run out of money in FFP. Something would go wrong. Like you, you, you would not have a women's Juventus team if that was the requirement to be able to spend that amount of money. Athletes are directly compensated beyond the, you know, look, I'm creating that baseline there, which should exist. There should be a women's team with a fully professional setup and everything because that's going to help advance the game. And eventually, as we've seen over the last 10, 15 years, people care. People watch it. As much as a certain element of society seems to insist that they don't, they do, right? And so it is a good long-term investment there. But if you, if you try to balance the wages out, then it, it's, you're, you're going to kind of ruin the development of the whole system. I think they'll get there. I think the wages will get a lot closer as we progress into the future. But you can't, you can't skip 20 steps in order to get there. You have to continue to kind of build everything up. Another example people always use is like the U.S. Open uh, in tennis. That, that was the first tennis open that, that equaled the men's and women's uh, prize pools, basically. But I don't know if you've ever watched tennis. Women's tennis and men's tennis, it's like, you know, they, 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 again, it's the same, you're drawing the same audience. You're drawing the same eyeballs. You're working with the same level TV contracts. That's where the money comes from. And Alicia Lehman's going to be making as much as Douglas Louise. 
when Juventus women's team is drawing the same eyeballs as the Juventus men's team. They're drawing the same eyeballs that the U.S. women's national team is drawing because that's why they're getting paid. They're getting bank. Why? Because when the U.S. women's national team plays in a World Cup final, there's more people watching that than the entire population of the Netherlands. That's why they're getting paid. I also hate quotes like this because it allows the worst people to just lose out on all nuance, right? It, 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 this is the sort of quote that tees people up to be like, oh, women shouldn't be playing football. This is ridiculous fucking woke nonsense. You know, like the nuance is gone. Right, the, the internet has killed nuance. It has it, it burned it with fire. The the essence of nuance is completely destroyed. The ability to understand a situation and the fact that this quote is wrong, right? Like it, it shouldn't be right. But also, like that does not mean that women's football is not growing a ton and not a good thing. And like you know, probably shouldn't be paid more than they're getting paid, right? Because it's hard for wages to keep up when a sport is growing so quickly, right? It, it, but like. The, this the, these when these sorts of quotes come out and somebody in like somebody like center goals tweets it out like you know what's going to happen right you know who's going to show up in the replies right you know you know you know exactly how all of this is go is, is going to go down and instead of having that kind of educated conversation about the you know economic side of the game and how all of this is kind of supposed to work you just end up with alicia lehman getting a bunch of hate comments uh right which shouldn't happen either nobody 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 should get absolutely roasted for having an opinion uh, and if that opinion is wrong, you should be able to just explain to that person why what they're saying is wrong, which is basically what this video has kind of has kind of been. Um, but but yeah, I, I, <laughs> the word maybe maybe the worst part about when a women's footballer or something says something like this or something near this right is is that you know exactly who that's going to trigger it's going to trigger kind of this 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 torrent of the worst element where i think the vast majority of people understand that there's there's like a middle ground in here where you're like yeah i mean the, the way like all of the things i already talked about i'm not going to repeat myself but that part of this whole this whole thing sucks and i wish it I, w I wish it just wouldn't happen i wish we could have more open conversations about this sort of stuff without it turning into a giant like you know, shit throwing contest for like sort of some sort of lunch fight over like something way bigger than just talking about the economics of, of football. But yeah, there you go. That's that, that's that.